welcome to SPD in three minutes. This is our first episode. Saint Arnold Jansen and the three religious congregations he founded. SVD, Latin abbreviation for Societas Verbi Divini. In English, Society of the Divine Word. St. Arnold Jansen founded the SVD on September 8, 1875 in Style, Holland. SVD is the first congregation St. Arnold founded for men who want to become religious missionary brothers or priests. On December 8, 1889, St. Arnold founded the second congregation, Congregatio Servarum Spiritus Sancti, with a Latin abbreviation SSPS a female active congregation which is commonly known as the Blue Sisters. The third congregation St. Arnold founded was Congregatio Servarum Spiritus Sancti de Adoracione Perpetua with a Latin abbreviation SSPSAP. On December 8, 1896, a female contemplative, which is commonly known as the Pink Sisters. These are the three religious missionary congregations which St. Arnold founded. They are known as the Arnoldus family, SBD, or the Divine Word Missionaries, SSPS, or the Blue Sisters, SSPSAP, or the Pink Sisters. St. Arnold wanted to put up a lay society, but it did not materialize in his lifetime. Today, the fourth member of the Arnoldus family is now a reality. This is SBD in three minutes.
Sa ngalan po ng SBD Philippine Central Province, taos puso po kaming nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtangkilik sa huni ng misyon. Tuloy-tuloy po ang huni ng misyon ngayong buwan ng Setyembre, ikawalo ng gabi, kada Sabado. Huni ng misyon. Prayer, concert, for a mission cause. Para po sa mga retiradong SBD brothers and priests. Huni ng misyon. September prayer concert kasama si Mama Mary. September 4, hiyaw o tuwa ng misyon. September 11, uha o lungkot ng misyon. September 18, ningas o liwanag ng misyon. September 25, ihip o kaluwalhatian ng misyon. Huni ng misyon. Ngayon sa kalagitnaan ng pandemya at ulan at bagyo, dasal at awitan. Mapapanood po sa Facebook pages, The Catholic Channel PH, Password, at sa iba pang SBD Facebook pages. Mapapanood din po tayo sa YouTube, SBD Philippines Media Huni ng Misyon. At para po sa inyong mission support, tulong o donasyon, pwede pong ideposito sa BDO o ipadala sa GCAS at PayMaya. For more details, please contact Father Noel Ribancos, SBD. Muli, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. At sa ngalan po ng Philippine Central Province, ito po si Father Glenn Paul Gomez, SBD, Mission Secretary. Maraming maraming salamat po. God bless you more. Amen. Hello and welcome, brothers and sisters. This is the Healing Eucharist Daily Mass, and we are happy that you're able to join us today and every day. Today, we're celebrating the Friday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. For all of your intentions, we invite you to type them out in the comment section, or you could send us your intentions via the, the link at the description box in this stream. Why don't you share this stream and this mass with your friends as well? Share to them or tag them in this stream. Our mass presider today is Reverend Father Mar Ladra. We will now begin our celebration.
children proclaim to every man, O Son of Two, our King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening, everybody. Welcome Good evening. to the celebration of the Healing Eucharist daily. Today is Friday, and we honor also the Jesus Puong Nazareno of Chiapo. During this Holy Mass, let us pray for those people who are sick, those who are suffering because of this COVID and because of the pandemic. We pray that this pandemic may come to an end. Let us also pray for our family members, especially those who are sick. We pray also for our OFWs, the overseas Filipino workers. We pray for the seafarers, and we pray for all our intentions. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves worthy for the sacred celebration, please bow your head and let us now ask God to forgive us of the sins that we have done and committed. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have that greatly, I have greatly sin sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, teach and urge these things. Whoever teaches something different and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the religious teaching is conceited, understanding nothing, and has a morbid disposition for arguments and verbal disputes. From these come envy, rivalry, insults, evil suspicions, and mutual friction among people with corrupted minds who are deprived of the truth, supposing religion to be a means of gain. Indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, just as we shall not be able to take anything out of it. If we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Those who want to be rich are falling into temptation and into a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires, which plunge them into ruin and destruction. For the love of money, is the root of all evils, and some people in their desire for it have strayed from the faith and have pierced themselves 
with many pains. But you, man of God, avoid all this. Instead, pursue, pursue righteousness, devotion, faith, love, patience, and gentleness. Compete well for the faith. Lay hold of eternal life to which you were called when you made the noble confession in the presence of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Why should I fear in evil days when my wicked snarers ring me round? They trust in their wealth, the abundance of their riches is their boast. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Yet in no way can a man redeem himself or pay his own ransom to God. Too high is the price to redeem one's life. He would never have enough to remain alive always and not see destruction. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of his forebears who shall never more see light. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying them or him were the twelve and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the king, the wife of Herod's steward, Tusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good evening to everyone. We have a beautiful Gospel reading today. Dear friends, so sa Ibanghelyo, 
narinig natin na kabilang sa mga kasama ni Jesus bukod din sa 12 apostles, pumili siya ng tatlong babae na makakasama nila sa misyon. Our Bible, our reading says, they are Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Cusa, and Susanna. So these are the three women selected by Jesus to help in their works of mission. Alam niyo mga kapatid, nung panahon ni Jesus para sa mga Jews, sa mga Hudyo, ang mga babae ay walang karapatan na maging disipulo. Bakit? Sapagkat sila ay walang kakayahan na pag-aralan ang Torah, ang batas ni Moises. So ganoon, kamenos ang tingin, ang tingin ng mga Hudyo sa mga babae noong kapanahonan nila. Ngunit, ang bagay na ito ay pinabulaanan ni Jesus sa pamagitan ng kanyang pagpili ng mga babae upang maging taga sunon, alagad, maging katulong para sa misyon na ginagawa ng Panginoon at ng mga alagad. So sa ginawang ito ni Jesus, una, ipinakikita niya na ang babae at ang lalaki ay nilikhang pantay ng Diyos. Men and women are equal, created by God in His image and in His likeness. Kaya nga walang dahilan na taratuhin ang mga babae na second class citizens lama. At ito ay naganap nung panahon ng Panginoon. Tinatrato ng mga hudyo ang mga babae na second class citizens. Brothers and sisters, the second ipinakikita ni Jesus sa atin na ang mga babae ay mayroong mahalagang papel na ginagampanan So, second, ipinakita ni Jesus na sa kanyang pagpili ng mga babae bilang kanyang mga alagad, ang mga babae ay merong mahalagang papel na magagawa para sa pagbabago ng lipunan ng tao. Jesus esteemed the women and fully appreciated their potentials. We can cite some examples. For examples, Saint Teresa of Avila is a very good example of a woman who made reform in the order of the Carmelite. 
in the year 1567. Saint Mother Teresa of Calcutta, siya ay tumulong sa pagbabago ng lipunan. Ginawa niya ito ng mayroong tapang, paninindigan, commitment, all for the sake of God's kingdom. Brothers and sisters, ang mga babae sa Ebanghelyo ngayon na ating narinig at ang maraming mga kababaihan na tumulong sa pagbabago ng simbahan, reforma, sa pagbabago ng lipunan ay mga huwarang ibinibigay sa atin ni Jesus. Na matapos na sila'y tumanggap ng pagkapagaling yung tatlong babae sa Ebanghelyo, sila ay mga naging tunay na tagasunod ng ating Panginoon. Brothers and sisters, during this Holy Mass, we pray for all women, especially the overseas Filipino workers na iniwanan ang kanilang mga pamilya dito sa Pilipinas para lamang bigyan ng magandang kinabukasan at buhay ang kanilang mga anak. Marami sa ating mga Filipino workers na mga kababaihan na dumaranas din ng iba't ibang mga pagsubok. Subalit sila nagiging matibay, nagiging nananatiling matatag. We pray for them. And we pray for all women, especially our mothers, our sisters, daughters. And we pray also for one another. Amen. Father God in heaven, we thank you so much for the beautiful gospel reading that we have today. And you teach us the importance of the women's role in the society, in our church. We continue to ask you, Lord, to please protect our women, bless them, give success to the works of their hands. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. Father God in heaven, we lift up to you all our needs. Especially, Lord, we pray for those people who are sick of COVID. And we pray that this pandemic may come to an end. For every petition, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Please repeat. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Father, the bishops, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the church, may they continue to be living witnesses of Christ amidst all hardship and pastoral concerns, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government officials, may they acknowledge Jesus as their model and inspiration, that they may render honest administration and safeguard the dignity and rights of all, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Lord work through all medical experts and frontliners who are fighting COVID-19. May they find strength in those who show them love and compassion, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who have left home, country, and family to proclaim the gospel to all nations, May the Lord protect them from all dangers, strengthen them in their loneliness, give joy to their communities, and fulfillment in their apostolate. May the Lord reward them in this life and in the life to come for their sacrifices and generosity for the kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for the urgent concerns Lord, we of our should... community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we praise and we thank you, Lord. Please listen to our prayers, especially those who are sick in the hospitals and those people who are suffering. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. The Liturgy of the Eucharist. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept this, your servant's offerings, that what it has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is your right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwa unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon the ship to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took the bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Especially, Lord, those who died of COVID virus. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Mary, Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. As one family gathered in the name of the Lord, we now come to our Father as we all together sing the Lord's Prayer. Lord from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxiety and useless worries as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. 
Peace be with you, Father. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited in the sacred meal of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us continue praying for our healing. And we pray for those people who are sick especially those who are suffering right now, those who are in the ICUs, who have difficulty in breathing, those in the hospitals, in their own homes, especially, Lord, we pray, for those who are sick of COVID. Father God in heaven, we praise and we thank for once again gathering as you in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. You said in your words that the two or three are gathered in your name. I am in your midst. Lord, we know that you are here in our midst. We acknowledge your presence. Father God in heaven, we ask you to forgive us of all the sins that we have done and committed. Yes, Lord. Forgive the sins of our family members. Our personal sins. Our inherited sins. Our committed sins. Lord, we ask you to please forgive us. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to send us the Holy Spirit that we may be anointed. Lord, you tell us in your word in Matthew chapter 11, 28, come to me, all of you who are weary and are burdened, and I will give you rest. I come to you now, Lord, believing that you will help and heal me and give me peace. Yes, Lord. Give me peace. Give peace to our family. Give peace to the whole world. You are the Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. And I put all my trust in your power and love. Father in heaven, send us the Holy Spirit as I come to you now, as your child, loving you and asking your divine healing. This is so much, or there is so much I don't understand about life nowadays because of this pandemic. Many of us, Father God, many among us are getting sick. 
Many people have died. They lost their jobs. The poor people are suffering. Those who are sick in the hospitals, Lord, come, rescue us, help us, heal us, Lord. Gently touch those who are sick right now, Lord. Sa isang salita mo lamang, gagaling kami. Naniniwala kami, Panginoon, na kami pinagagaling. Durugin mo tunawin ang anumang sakit karamdaman ng mga taong kaisa namin ngayon sa healing mass na ito. Bless us, Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the greatest physician of all. Nothing is impossible with you. So we claim our healing. Healing of the body, of the soul, of the spirit, of our emotions. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, receive your miracle healing. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, receive your financial prosperity. Say amen. Amen. We go to the Blessed Mother Mary, who is with us in this healing mass. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Let us pray. By the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thank you so much, everybody, for being one with us in this Holy Eucharist. May God heal, heal you and bless all, our, all of us, our families. Please continue to use this book of prayers straight from the heart. Make this as your daily companion. We need a lot of prayers, especially nowadays. And this book will certainly help you. Available in all national bookstores, St. Paul bookstores, Andayan bookstores, Catholic trade. Thank you, everybody. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration is over. Let us now go in the love and peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And in behalf of your healing Eucharist daily mass, Father, family, Father, uh, Father Mar, we thank you for joining us tonight. We'll see you next week. Thank you. i